Hello, my friends. How are you today? We will make sure that we've got things going on here. So the deer needs some trees. So that's what we're going to do today. I think it's going to look super cute when it's done. Super, super cute. All right. Am I here? Yes. We have comments. Yes. Hey, Marie and Anita. So we're going to make some trees today. Um, it's going to be a mix, buffalo plaid, and then I've been dying to use this transfer. The joy to the world hymn. It's beautiful. I was going to cut it up so that I could make some smaller trees, but I'm going to leave it whole because I want to make some cushion covers too. And I think it would be really nice on the 18 by 18 Sylvie board. So what we need today is I've got some watercolor paper and I already painted this uh, because I needed it to dry. So I've got um, two different sheets. Uh, this is rosewood um, that I did on this one. And then this one I mixed rosewood with a bit of red just to give it a different color. And I did learn that instead of using a sponge brush, a bristle brush would have been much better. I didn't have any, so that is what I ended up with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to chalk on the paper before we cut it out. So I'm using um, the mini buffalo plaid for this one. And I, is it, oh, it's not too bad. I've used this one so many times. So we'll just put this on here and I kind of want to line it up so that it's straight. And for the color, I was thinking of using Dune just so that you can really see um, the Buffalo plaid. But Yeah, the copper is not going to show up enough. And hey, Pam. And the crimson. Oh, no, this is shimmer red. I thought I had a crimson out. Let's, let's just try this on a corner and see how it shows up because it would be pretty. We'll just do it up in this top corner here and see how it looks. We're doing a little test patch. Okay, it's very, I don't know if you can see it. It's very faint. But I think it's, I think it's subtle enough that it'll work because then it's not going to be too in your face. So maybe for the uh, the joy to the world, we'll use the dune, because that's a darker color too. All right, so we're just going to chalk this whole thing all the way. And I really wish I had my bigger squeegees. It'll be nice when I get that craft room opened up again. It'll be really nice. Because then I'll have everything right there and I don't have to worry. So I'm just going all over this. And it's a good thing that the shimmer takes a little bit longer to dry, so that's kind of nice. I have a lot longer working time. 
Hey, Kelly. How are you? All right. So the other reason, I don't know if I mentioned it, that I did the painting uh, before was so that the paper would dry. And I did it quite thin. So I just kept adding water to it because I wanted it to be uh, really watery. All right. I don't need to go all the way to the top because we are going to cut these up into tree shapes. And I picked up some dowels at the dollar store. So I got a few different sizes. So we're going to make um, a really tall tree and then we'll make some smaller ones. Okay, we're just about there. And I think we'll do a mix. Um, maybe do the tallest one. Oh, the tallest one in the buffalo plaid and then a small one with the music. And a medium one with the buffalo plaid just to kind of mix it up a bit so I'll do three of one and no I only have four okay well I need another disc because I want to make five trees all right this is a big area to cover Thank goodness that I didn't cut this transfer up. It actually fit perfectly on this piece of watercolor paper. Okay, I think I got it all. Now we're going to peel this back. I want to make sure that I haven't missed anything. All right, I think we're good. Make sure you get all that excess goodness off and put it back into your jar. Not that I had a lot excess. And then I need to clean my hands off. Holy moly. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Nice and subtle. I like that. Look at that. That's going to look so good. Put that there. Clean off my mitts. That's going to look really, really cute. Holy smokes, I got it everywhere. All right, so now we want to let this dry really well. Um, so we'll work on the next sheet of paper. And it's a brand new transfer, so we're really going to fuzz it because we're putting it on paper. So let's just put this right there. Buzzing cloth. And now this is a large transfer, so I'm actually going to peel the paper off the back so that it doesn't stick to itself. That is sticky. Can you hear that? That is super sticky. Okay, now we're going to put the fuzzing towel over top. Be much easier doing it this way. 
This thing is so sticky. So we're gonna probably fuzz it a few times. Yeah. Super sticky. I love that though. Love it. Oh. If it sticks to itself, just go slow. It will come apart. Just don't, don't panic. down. And one more. It's still really sticky, you guys. Okay, so we're going to grab this and I'm actually going to um, I have to figure out what's, I think we're going to do it this way because I want a tall tree with this pattern on it. Flip it over and this one we're going to do in Dune. All right, I think that'll be nice, it'll be subtle. Just grab some paste. And I don't think I'll need the uh, title at the top, that'll get cut off anyway. So just all the way. Good amount of paste on there. And then I'll go back over it and take the excess off. So I got my house clean today. Oh my God, I don't know about you guys, but that is the one thing I just, ugh. if I could hire somebody, to do one thing in my house, it would be to clean it. We have hardwood floors all over, so that means sweeping and then mopping, which is really, really hard on my back. One day, one day, we'll have somebody come in and do all the cleaning for me. That is my dream. What's your biggest pet peeve in the stuff that's got to be done? I don't mind doing laundry. A little bit more here and then we're going to scrape everything. And you guys have to have positive thoughts here when I go to peel this transfer off. It's going to come off just fine, right? Just getting all these lines out. All right. Close that. And let's peel. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm just going to put this over here. And then I'm going to stick it to the shower in the bathroom and I'm going to wash it in the bathtub because it's so much easier. 
Okay, so we're going to let this one dry. Let's move that out of the way. And now we're going to take this one back. And I'm going to cut the edges off here because I don't need those. I'm just going to use my straight edge here. I did find my X-Acto knife, yay. I was pretty happy about that. Flip it over. And, all right, so now we need to figure out how big this is gonna be. Um, that is still a little bit wet. So let's give it a dry here. The glitter always takes a little bit longer to dry. So we'll just help it along. Okay, so now I need to decide. I'm gonna do one tall one with the um, the music notes and I'll probably do one that's just about this length and what is this this is 14 and a half inches so maybe 12 inches we'll do this one oh Pam this is a um, Chocotour self-healing mat. It's amazing. I have three of them. I love them. So wherever I'm working, I've got a craft mat out. Okay, so if we're going to do it 12 inches tall, the base needs to be six inches. So we'll make a mark, I should do this on the back, six inches, and then we're going to go 12 tall. Right here. So I am going to do a mark. So halfway would be three inches. Are you guys following along? Because I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So three inches would be halfway. Okay, so I've made a mark at the three inch mark and the six inch. So now I'm gonna angle this if it works out right. I hope. So there's one. And there's the other. Wow. That's actually not too bad. And then we'll do a smaller one. And I think the smaller one I'm going to do two inches. And then we'll do it four inches tall. It's going to be a really tiny one. Uh, four inches and then an inch over. So we'll go here. That didn't work out. And then here. Okay, so now we've got those two, and now we're going to cut them out. And the great thing about this is that the space in between can be used as well. Okay, that didn't quite, didn't quite cut. Okay, so there we've got our little tiny one. 
and then we'll cut the bigger one. Do both sides. Just line it up to the marks that we made. And you're not going to see this back part. So there's the other one. And then I think I'm going to do a tall, skinny one. Like maybe this one right here. This will be a really tall, tall, skinny one. If it looks right, I might have to, I might have to adjust it. Uh, yeah, I need to take off just a little bit more on this side here. Just so it looks straighter. That's pretty good. That'll work. Okay, so we've done those. So we've got three here. Now we're going to use this one. And I'm gonna hit this with the dryer just to make sure. I think I do need five, so we're going to cut two out of this. All right. Okay, so this is the bottom. Let's cut the bottom edge off. Because we won't need that. Get rid of that. Now, this one, I want it to be, I think, 13 inches so that it's a little bit bigger than the other one we did. So that means center would be six and a half inches. So let's six and a half. That's going to be really big. No. Let's do a really tall skinny one. Uh, we'll do it one, two, three, four. We'll do it five inches by 13. Right here. So five inches in half is two and a half. We'll put our mark right there. And we'll go here. And now we're going to cut it. I apologize if you guys are commenting. I will take a look at them in a second. Just wanna make sure I don't cut my fingers. Oh, it's a 
a good thing I have this watch and turn the phone off. Okay, this is a little bit crooked here, so let's just fix that. All right, so we've got that one. And let's do another teeny one. This is actually a lot of paper for just a, a little bit. But now I have it, so if I need to make up more trees, I have the paper already done. This one will do right about there. These skinny ones, I'm not even really measuring, just kind of eyeballing it. And the words are upside down. That doesn't matter, does it? They are upside down. We'll go with it. So now we've got a few different sizes. That'll look really cute. Okay, so the next piece that you need, um, I've got two different size dowels. I've got some skinny ones. I think these were quarter inch. And then this one was, it came in a package and I think it was like three feet long and it was a skewer. Um, I'm pretty sure I got them at Dollar, the Dollar Tree. And I cut them with this little, I don't know what it is, a, a pipe cutter or something. I used to use it for when I did cake decorating, but it's really cool. I mean, it cut through this no problem at all. And then I've got these little wooden discs that I got at the dollar store. I wish this dollar store was truly a dollar store because nothing is a dollar in there. So I've got three different sizes here. Yes, it's a PVC pipe cutter. That's right, Pam, because my husband brought it home from work because he's a plumber. <laughs> that is right. All right, I'm just grabbing another one. So this doesn't even have the measurements on here. But I'm using, this is a three and a half inch. And then this one is two and three quarters. And then these ones are about an inch and a quarter. So you take your wooden disc. And you're going to need a drill for this and drill bits. I have my own little drill bit case. I love it. And if I can remember, I think it was that one. So I kind of measured um, the size of the dowel to my drill bit. And we'll just put it in here. That went in crooked. I want to make sure that you get it in straight. Okay. Now I'm just going to drill a hole. And I'm kind of guessing how far to go down without hitting my table. My husband would be so happy seeing me do this. It's a good thing he's not home. He'd be like, what are you doing on our dining room table? Okay, so I've got just a small hole here. Um, so these are ready to go. 
but we want to glue our dowels onto the back of the paper. So depending on how tall you want them, um, you can kind of lay them out the way, the height that you're kind of thinking. Um, just to give you an idea. These ones I want a little bit taller. So the space down at the bottom here is going to be the length of the dowel. So I think, I think we're going to do this one right at the bottom on the base. So we won't need, we can cut this one down a bit because it is too long. Still a little too long. Actually, this one might work. No. We'll just cut it a little bit more. Better just to do multiple cuts. And I want it to almost go to the top of the tree. Just for stability, because we're going to be kind of folding the paper to make it a little bit more organic, I guess. Look like it has some movement to it. Okay, I've got two. Okay, that one will work there. This one. needs to be cut down a bit. So we'll just do that. So this one is good. And I want that one taller. So that one is good. And this one needs to be cut. So we'll just cut that right there. Okay, now we're going to glue it onto the back of the paper. I've got my hot glue gun ready to go. Just turn these guys around. And we'll just do a bead of glue down the center. Okay, what is going on? And then place this right on the glue. Hold it for a second just to make sure that it adheres. Okay, that one's good. All the way. Oh, no wonder it's not. It's on low. Oh my goodness. I did not do that. Things happen in this house, I'm telling you. Heat is on, heat is off, remotes go missing. All right, so that's this one. Press that down. Might need a little more glue at the top there. That doesn't look like it's, nope. That did not hold at all. 
Let's do that again. Try that again. That's what I should have asked for for my birthday is a Ryobi glue gun. I don't know what's going on with my glue. My glue is Not working very well, you guys. Okay. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to hold and place as I go. That should do it. And I have tons, tons of glue on. That's holding. Okay, on to the next one. And this one was going to be right at the bottom. So we're going to have just enough to put inside the wooden disc sticking out at the bottom. Perfect. All right, let's check here. Actually, I never waxed my paper, Pam. Never had. Um, this is watercolor paper and it is, let me check. 140 pound watercolor paper that I'm using. Ow. I am going to glue the dowel this time, see if that makes a difference. That was actually a lot easier. much easier. Um, and this one, put that down. Okay, so we've got our trees done. Now we need to put them into our little stands. And we're going to put a little bit of glue. Um, I wish I had wood glue because that would probably work really well. But I'm just putting glue into the hole. And then placing the dowel in it. And then we can put some ribbon on the bottom, on the, the trunk of the tree. Put bells on on the paper. You can embellish it any way you'd like. A little glue. Place that in there. The hole's just a little bit bigger than the dowel. If it was a tight fit, then you wouldn't have to glue it. I probably could have gone a size smaller, but I didn't want to wreck the, uh, the base of the wood. Two more. And then these will be ready to go up with the deer. And the last one. Okay. 
and then you can arrange them kind of any way that you want. I'll probably do them, whoops, kind of like this and the little guy there. That is it for today's project. A little bit different. Oh, it looks like I ripped the top part of this off. I might have to, might have to do something with this top. We can cut that. That's what we'll do. You'll never know. There. Never know there was a mistake there. Isn't that cute? I love it. Love it. Yeah, actually I could use um, this paper for banners for the um, little swag in front of or at the bottom of the fireplace. That would be cute too. Be super cute. I might have to do that. Oh, sorry. I thought I was going to sneeze again. All right, my friends. That is it for today. Tomorrow we will be doing um, something to go above the mantle, above the fireplace. And it'll kind of all tie in together. That'll be really cute. And then I'm going to brainstorm what we're going to do next week. Yes, I love it too, Marie. All right, my friends, that is it for today. You guys have an awesome evening. And I will see you tomorrow. Be safe. Bye for now.